Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a little mini haul. I um, I did some hauling, uh, I guess, back in July, and I have not showed y'all everything. So, I am going to trickle these in because I am on a hardcore, for real, no buy. I know I've said it before, but for right now, it's for real. We have some unexpected things come up. And <laughs> We are for real doing it. So, but these things I bought back in July, um, back before things got crazy, I went and ordered my first order from Catherine Light's Polish. I was really trying to avoid getting um, sucked into another brand, another, um, you know, because I do try to support my fellow YouTubers. Uh, Kathleen Lights doesn't know me. <laughs> she, she has no idea who I am, but... Um, she is a fellow YouTuber. She started out just like the rest of us, and she has her own polish now, and I really wasn't going to go buy anything, but when I found out she had some polishes that were referenced to Friends, which one was one of my favorite uh, <laughs> sitcoms ever, um, I had to have them. I don't know if I have them all yet, but anyway, let's get to it. This one is KL, and this is Hug and Roll. And it's a very, very light pink, almost white. And then next we have a darker pink. You can come there a little, a little different, I hope. And this one's called Gum Would Be Perfection. And this is the second polish I have called this. I have another one from another brand. And then lastly on the Friends ones, we have this dark, dark green. Sorry, now it's got confetti stuff on it dark green and this is Central Park so gorgeous and while I was on there you guys I'm, I'm such a ninny I mean I, I have to go check out everything before I finalize my purchase I had to have this one look at the cap insane pretty look at that yep I have polishes that look very similar but I had to have this one and this is something that um, she, she always said is that's expensive and I always loved that I always just so I had to have that had to so I'm gonna get um, I've got a partial nail wheel here I've done taking a couple of them because I needed them for something but I've got four empty spots we're gonna swatch these out I'll be right back okay so oh, here we go we're gonna get into swatching these this first one is a hug and roll oh I love the brush on these yes my kind of brush so we're going to do a first coat of that. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Sorry. And then next we have Gum Would Be Perfection. Wow, that's so pretty. Creamy. Oh, yeah. I really, really like this one. Oh, whew. And then for the dark green... Although, I'm telling you, the formula on these are really nice. I really like it. So that is Central Park. And then this one is that gold bombshell with the holographic in it. And this one is Das Expensive 26. That's one of the numerals under it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is just, oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. Alrighty, I think these are dry enough. I've got a fan going, so maybe they're dry enough to go ahead and do a second coat. And this one is Hug and Roll. And if you've never watched Friends, this is from a reference. Hug for you, roll for me. And it was a trick that um, Ross was teaching Chandler about, you know, getting his arm stuck under his partner while sleeping. So, love that. And Gum Would Be Perfection is from when Chandler got trapped in the ATM vestibule. <laughs> and um, he ran into, uh, I can't remember who he ran into. I can't Her name won't come to my head right now. Maybe it will before the end of the video. Um, but he got stuck in the vestibule with um, a famous, beautiful woman that was on his list, his free list. 
so I'm messing that swatch up, but it's still very pretty. My bad. And then finally we have Central Park, which is, you know, right beside where they lived. And the apartments. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to love that one for fall. I hope it's not showing up too black on camera. In real life, it's not looking black. It's looking definitely super dark green. And then finally, another coat of Das Expensive 26. And I don't know what the meaning behind the 26 was. If it was, you know, like for her 26th birthday or what, I'm not sure. But oh my heavens, I'm in love with that. That's just gorgeous. And since I've got these other swatches out, I'm going to do some of this uh, gold over a couple of other colors just so we can see. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. No, we're just going to keep going on. Oh yes. It looks gorgeous over everything. Oh. So, anyway, getting all crazy with it. Let's just go ahead and do them all. I mean, I'm not going to do the super chick lacquer ones because, you know, they're hollow already. <laughs> oh, I really like it over that one. Oh, you like, look, y'all, I'm getting so excited I done messed that one up. I done got it on my hand. Okay, so let's try to be a little more careful and do these last two. So, down below, let me know if you've tried any of the Kathleen Lights polishes and what you think of them. If you have any, you know, suggestions for when I come off of the snow buy. <laughs> and I know y'all are going to think, what, she's on a no buy? But y'all are going to see some haul videos and swatch videos and things like that. But trust me, all that stuff was way, way back in July. Those are gorgeous. So, I am in love with all of these that I got from Kathleen. And I am going to try to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. And you will be seeing these hopefully soon. You guys know I try to get to them, but sometimes stuff happens. So, there we go. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.